Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my vlog. This is part two of the Colorado episode. Um, we had way too much footage to try to fit it into the original vlog, so here is part two of our Can-Am trip through the White River National Forest. Here is us picking up from Adventure Time Rentals. Um, they do give you a vehicle, a trailer, and a sports utility vehicle all included in the rental, and you get it for six hours. They do give you a list of maps, that kind of show you what your trails would be like, but they don't give you a ton of information. So I absolutely recommend looking up your trails ahead of time. Um, I use an app called All Trails. I don't know if that includes utility vehicles, but I think it will give you like a general map of the area that you're going to. If not, Google Maps will always work wonders as well, but definitely plan out your trail before you go into wherever it is that you're gonna be taking your Can-Am trip. Um, we did do White River National Forest in Colorado. It was about 30 minutes away from Dillon, which was where we rented our Can-Am from. And the vehicle that we had was awesome. It was in great condition. It was comfortable and it was pretty easy for the most part to get it on and off of the trailer. But here's just a little bit of our trip going into the mountains and it was a beautiful view. I can't complain. We got really lucky with our views. Well, we just got to where we're going to be doing our Can-Am thing, this thing. Dylan's working on getting it off of our little trailer and they gave us this cute little truck to drive. We're in like the most beautiful place I think I've ever seen. We passed Blue River, I think, and it was phenomenal. Um, I already have to pee, so hopefully when we get away from people, I can find somewhere to to do that because that sucks even though I went like a hundred and ten times already but yeah I'm so excited So when we started our trip, it was pretty flat like this, so don't get me wrong, it's a little bumpy, it looks a little deserty, a little dusty, but we're having fun, it's flat. We start looking around and over to um, our left, there's like these trails that lead like straight up the mountains. If you look over um, in like the far left sides during some of these videos, you can actually see like the trails going straight up. But the farther up this mountain we go, the rockier and rockier these climbs get, and we're passing by people that were wondering, like, how the heck did we even get this far up? How did they get this far up? Um, there's a couple of stopping points, but nothing that's, like, particularly easy to stop at. This pull-off was one of the very few where there's actually extra space on the side for us to pull over but it was really pretty being able to be this up close and in the trees um i highly recommend wearing like a face mask underneath your helmet um i wore two different layerings of clothes so i had like my sweatshirt and my hoodie on but i also in our backpack brought an extra pair of clothes because I knew getting hit with all of the dirt and the gunk and stuff coming off of this mountain that I was just going to feel absolutely disgusting after. And you do, but it is beautiful to be out in nature. It's super fun to experience the mountain like this, especially when you're a big fan of nature or if you like being in the outdoors, if you like exploring, if you like traveling, I definitely recommend doing this at least once in your life. Um, it's an incredible experience, but highly recommend the face mask underneath your helmet um we decided to pull off here this was actually we had already gone to the top after this point we were coming back down the mountain 
and this was one of the biggest pull-offs that you could make. That little trail was an absolutely not for me. It was way too skinny, and I got a little bit too scared after certain points, and I just really didn't like seeing the drop-offs. We did see a Can-Am that was tipped over at one point, and that was on its side lane in the forest, so that was a big no for me on going on trails. But we got out, stretched our legs a little, and did some photos that I needed to get done. This was that trail that I said absolutely not to. You'll see a, another Can-Am couple pass by in just a few minutes, but um, the view that we had from here kind of felt like we were in a snow globe looking down over, ne over like a town or something. It was beautiful. And typically when you're this high up, the wind is just like beating through you in an ungodly way that just is uncomfortable. It was actually beautiful up here. The wind was whipping around, but not enough to make you um, not enjoy your view or enjoy your uh, summit, I guess, this high up. We decided to get just a couple more pictures in case the ones that we had didn't turn out just because the wind was whipping around my hair quite a bit. But we stopped, we got what we needed, and hopped back in the car to get on our way. Um, you kind of see the wind going through like the grass and how it is whipping my hair around. But a lot of dirt, a lot of dust coming at me. Um, my nose, ears, and just everything, every nook and cranny you could think of. Um, we, we showered twice, I'm pretty sure, before even going to dinner because we both just felt disgusting. And we washed our clothes at the Airbnb because we could not handle it. And even the change of clothes in the car was not enough to not feel the dirt and dust and grime that got blown up onto you during this trip. said we saw a can am flipped over that's the one this is this is the one this is exactly why i did not want to take trail that kind of scared me or sketched me out apparently this can only happen if you're just being a complete buffoon and driving like a jack a but okay another funny story so we saw that right terror pain um confusion just really not wanting to be on this anymore we're looking out over the pretty view, we're reflecting, and right about this moment, we realized, not we, Dylan realized that my door was wide open. Yes, my door was wide open. I did not get it on camera because I panicked so hard that I think I blacked out, and I just completely like threw the camera down at this point, and it was off. That's really all I remember, but we did have to stop the Can-Am, and I was thankfully, like, seat belted in, so hopefully nothing would have happened anyway, but Dylan had to slam his entire body into our vehicle probably 10 times just to get it to shut properly. I'm not sure what was wrong with the latch, but we did get really fortunate with it working out in the end. Um, right after he got my door shut, another Can-Am came up the mountain right about that time, so that was a little scary, trying to be, like, teeter-tottering on the same trail, but the view coming down was well worth it. Um, all the way at the top was kind of not worth it, if I'm being honest, because there are a bunch of poles and, like, electrical, like, satellites and stuff, but look at these views. I mean, just slow climbing, just, I can't get over it. It was 
some of the prettiest views I think we've ever had in our entire lifetime of (laughs) anything. Maybe I'm rambling, but it was just unreal what we could see and what we were able to see in the amount of time that we had. In six hours, we fully went up a mountain and saw almost every angle of it from where we were at. We saw each side of this mountain and loading it back up on the trailer kind of sucked. It was a little scary, not gonna lie. Um, I had to kind of guide Dylan and tell him what to do as he was getting it up there, but it was still a blast. It was one of the greatest trips I think either of us have ever had, and we can't wait to do it again. It's definitely one of the things we want to do again. Um, Don't ask about that tire. That is disgusting what happened over there, but Here I am just trying to check it out one last time and then getting a little scared by the trailer because it was moving while I was on it and I don't think you can really see it but every time I would step on it it just felt really unstable. Here's us on our way back to take the Can-Am and drop it off but thanks for sticking with me guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to comment below if you have been in a Can-Am, if you've been on a trip before or if you plan on taking one soon. I am just so thankful to have you guys checking out this travel vlog. Have a great day. I love you.